Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Um, Gala, I now adjusted the support area a little bit. I moved the um, the previous one to the left hand side because we don't really need it anymore. Uh, this was for the previous entries and um, we've got now a new one here for this larger wave too. So the idea is obviously, and also if you haven't watched the previous videos just to bring you back to speed uh, or bring you to speed, is really that um, we moved and rallied here in a wave one to the upside. It peaked end of January. And basically we have two scenarios now. Yeah. So either, um, and that's the scenario you see on the chart, either we moved down here, hit basically sort of the 38.2 retracement, didn't really reach the 50% retracement. I think we missed ideal targets in here. Yeah. Would have been nice to go just a tiny bit lower here. Um, and because of that, I'm considering that this was only the a wave of a larger correction we could now be in a b wave which can without a problem even extend a little bit higher so um, a b wave yeah and then we could come down in a c afterwards so get something like this yeah and then here in this area somewhere probably rather in the lower end of the spectrum here between uh, 2.56 and 3.35 cents there should be a turning point in a wave two why do I say the B wave could still go higher? Well, it can still go higher because I'm counting the A wave here as a three wave move. Okay, you could you could count it as a five wave move as well. If it's a if wave A is a five wave move, and you can do that, yeah. I can count it as a one, two, but it's not ideal, three, four, five. Then we would have an impulse or no, a leading diagonal in five waves. In that case, the B wave can be quite weak. And we would now come down or and that's sort of the count i have here is that the a wave is a three wave move that the b wave will also become an extended three wave move a wave b wave c wave so this we need to be ready this could still rally higher in a higher b wave yeah? and then we could come down so be ready for even a higher move um, for that b wave resistance for the b wave is well, if we go higher, yeah, it would actually be between six cents and 7.17. So this is for a, for a B wave and an overshooting B wave, an ideal target or even resistance. So let me put that onto the chart, <clears throat> which means that until we get above 7.17 cents, we can't really say we are in the breakout. Yeah, um, that's sort of the scenario I'm following for various cryptos as well. Now, when do we know we get a higher B wave? We won't really know until we break above the recent high. I would say here it's this uh, 5.15 cent level. Um, looking at the subdivisions, this could be an A wave, here B wave, and then we get a C wave in B. That B wave, which is coming down here now, however, it's getting to the limits of what it should be doing. So it reached, it came down basically to the 78.6 retracement at 4.3 cents. So if it's holding that, there's a good chance we get this C wave to the upside from here. Yeah. Um, however, if it breaks below 4.3 cents, I think it's going to lose support and then we'll most likely get into this region and we don't get a higher B wave. Then we have to say the B wave was finished here already. So in the very, very short term, that 78.6 retracement level that I just showed you is very, very relevant to determine in the first place, do we get a higher B wave or do we go down straight away? The question of, are we already in a real breakout and is this wave two already finished here, which is technically possible as well, at the moment isn't even the question. Why is it not the question? Because we don't really know anyway if we are in a third wave until we break above the resistance area here, okay? So in the very short term, the question only needs to be, do we have a chance to rally short term higher, first of all, into this region here that I indicated to you? And if so, it's most likely a B wave but of course there will be the other possibility that it's actually the direct breakout. And that is possible as long as we're holding here the 78.6 retracement in this small local structure here. And again, to remind you that level is 4.32 cents. We're basically there now and would really need to turn around now. If we don't, then we will probably not get a higher B wave. B wave will then have finished here and we would come down. Preferred for me, what would I be leaning to? I'm leaning towards it going a little higher and then coming down just because the A wave looks like a three wave structure, even though it's not a very clear one. I mean, also here is a bit ambiguous, um, but um, 
just because um, it would also give eventually the C wave a little bit more space. Yeah, if we come down here directly, it would be it would be tight for the C wave. Not not impossible, but um, yeah. But these are the levels we need to be watching for, right? So again, what I think, what I'm leaning to, doesn't really matter too much. What matters is can the market and the bulls and the bears do they hold their relevant levels or not? And then you should now be prepared for all relevant outcomes. Okay, and that's my update about the gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.